business is really, yeah. it's terribly, 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 terribly down. More than one independent bookstore has closed each week since the pandemic began. One in four independent bookstores is in danger of closing by January. Some say the economic impacts of coronavirus are being compounded by a certain Seattle-based behemoth, Amazon. Jeff Bezos became $78 billion richer during um, this pandemic already. Amazon's mission statement is destroying community one click at a time. The American Booksellers Association asked us to help their struggling bookstores. The client brief? Create a holiday campaign for 1,800 independent bookstores across the country with a budget of $33 per store. Our plan? Hijack Amazon's most iconic symbol, the Amazon box. The omnipresent Amazon box seen on stoops, curbs, and mailrooms across America was now our most powerful weapon. We wanted to make it so that anytime anyone saw an Amazon box, they would think of a bookstore in trouble. On Prime Day, we used the storefronts of struggling independent bookstores and covered them with what looked like Amazon boxes. To generate national press, we stacked cardboard boxes high in front of the stores and covered their windows and awnings with cardboard to make them look boxed out. The cardboard featured anti-Amazon headlines asking people to shop local, like don't accept Amazon's brave new world, buy books from people who want to sell books, not colonize the moon, and books curated by real people, not a creepy algorithm. To reach readers with our message, we ceded the story to writers at the most respected publications in the world. Soon, the New York Times wrote about the signs appearing in bookstore windows this week and urged people to buy from these shops or they won't be around much longer. Then, the LA Times followed with a four-page op-ed saying Amazon has been boxing out local bookstores across the country. Even Jeff Bezos' own publication stood up and wrote an article critical of its own owner. Then came the Daily News, ABC, Forbes, and hundreds of others across America. It got picked up by the British press. Then it went global. Canada, France, the Philippines, Indonesia, India, and Russia. Boxed out. Boxed out. Boxed out. Boxed out. Boxed out. And it wasn't a flash in the pan. We've sustained press for independent bookstores for over six months and counting. A former community organizer even urged us on. I went on to pick up a lot more books at rummage sales and libraries and bookstores like yours. To create a groundswell at the local level, we made it easy for bookstores everywhere to participate. We mailed them storefront kits used over 6,000 times. This spread the message locally, sending foot traffic to struggling shops. Local broadcasters began defending their favorite stores, driving even more traffic. Business is thriving in Butte. Village is now part of a national campaign to turn the page on Amazon and convenience culture. And to really make sure customers would turn out and line up, we geo-targeted readers within 10 miles of their local bookstores. Soon, famous authors, politicians, and Hollywood were spreading our message. We successfully gave bookstores their biggest day ever on Amazon's Prime Day. 5.4 billion impressions, unlike a single day spike, searches for indie bookstores continue their upward momentum to this day and indie bookstore e-commerce is up 200 percent before the campaign 25 percent of independent bookstores were in danger of closing since we launched that number has dropped dramatically to five percent we started a revolution giving small businesses everywhere a voice to compete with amazon and amazon don't worry they'll be okay we think.